Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. And guys, I'm going to need you to punch that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you never miss a Satoshi Boomin video. We got these VeChain videos every single day, guys. You don't want to miss it. Please hit that like button. Up on the screen, we have our wonderful Patreon subscribers, AJ, Bear Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio, Lassie Nielsen, AmericanHomeRemedies.com, The Fern Line, Jeffrey, Ethan, Maryland Crypto, Boost Wayne, Brady Adams, Fruz Din, Joel Jimenez, Kyle Bocci, CryptoSVT.SI, Eric Parr, and Dig the Voice. Thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. Timestamps to the VeChain News will be in the description below. First news story of the day, guys, Bitcoin almost to 40K for the first time, pushing cryptocurrency market value past $1 trillion. Guys, I keep telling you, crypto is going to be a multi-trillion dollar crypto, a multi-trillion dollar asset class, excuse me. And, uh, you know, time in the market beats timing the market, in my humble opinion, not financial advice to your own research. So, the cryptocurrency is up 30% since the start of 2021, and the past 12 months, it has surged nearly 400%. Bitcoin's resurgence has been attributed to a numero number of factors, including, um, you know, Grayscale and other big uh, investors. So, guys, this is why I always say, guys, you know, we have to look long term. We're already we already hit a trillion dollars in total market cap. But I believe that the total market cap of crypto will be higher than gold, which is seven trillion dollars, which leaves a lot of room for our favorite coins to pump. All right, guys, let's get right into the VeChain news. Uh, and I want to explain a little bit of something here. But before we get into that, let's take a look. Yesterday, we burned a modest six point eight million veto. And today we're starting off slow at about six point one million veto. It's still good to see that that number is slowly creeping up each and every day. But if we take a look at the price here at VeChain, um, you know, we're down a little bit. Looks like we're, we're we're starting to consolidate just a tad. But if we take a look at the one year chart here, guys, like things are definitely looking bullish. Um, this chart looks amazing um, because <laughs> right here is probably going to look like down here soon, um, you know, especially since. We have our uh, VeChain Proof of Authority 2.0 coming out. We have our VPass going live. We have multiple hospitals jumping on the VPass and the EH Cert app. If you don't know what that is, it is a vaccine tracking app where you could track and uh, have a digital record of your vaccines. That's going to be huge. When travel opens up and most people get vaccinated. And that definitely can send VeChain to the moon, guys. Um, you know, if the bull run like occurs how we think it's going to occur and Bitcoin could go to like 100K, you know, even 150K, which some estimates have Bitcoin going to, then, you know, VeChain to a dollar is all but guaranteed. Now, I don't know when that will happen, but, you know, all VeChain needs to do is to get to about a $55 billion market cap. Right now, we're at about $1.9 billion, so almost $2 billion, guys. You know, it can happen. It can be done. <laughs> you know, all we need to do is just steal just a little bit more market cap each and every day, and we can get to where we need to be. All right, guys, $1 is certainly in the cards. We just need a super massive FOMO bull run, and we could get there. I firmly believe it, all right? But until that time, <laughs> until that occurs, guys, let's get the four sets, let's get to five, and then hopefully on our way up to 10, to 25, and then so on and so on. I'm super excited for where V-Chain could go. This chart looks amazing. I mean, it, it even looked good back here, you know, when we were down here. Remember these days? Remember in March when we were down here? This chart looked amazing. It, you know, it, it could only go up. Uh, but, you know, we're starting to we're starting to realize what VeChain has been working on for the past three to four years. Um, so not so average Joe posts here. VeChain and Drager. 
This is just speculation, but uh, this gentleman, this gentleman here, Sandeep M, he is the mobile solutions consultant at Draeger, and he posted the VeChain vaccine certified uh, our uh, our V our EH cert app. He he uh, he retweeted that. So this is just speculation now. Um, Draeger is a German billion dollar company with hospitals as their customers. I'm sure that Draeger and other, uh, billion dollar corporations with hospitals as their customers are looking into V chain to see if this EH cert app and if this V pass will be successful. And it, it is because every, <laughs> every company that works with V chain tool chain has a very, very high approval rating of them. So this is something we are definitely, definitely going to be looking at. And then also, uh, not so average Joe here uh, posted a few connections with uh, Zhang Zhou, Sunny Lu, um, amongst others. Okay, so this is all. Uh, this looks like uh, LinkedIn here. So I will definitely be taking a look at this. Uh, so hopefully in the future and uh, you know if if something comes out of this you know I'll be I'll be able to report on it shout out to Eisenreich here so we all know that the Mediterranean Hospital of Cyprus is using the EH cert app they have uh, vaccinated over a hundred people in their hospital and it is all tracked and traced on the via chain Thor blockchain we already know that we talked about that a couple of days ago and yesterday but the Arieto Hospital, which we talked about a couple of weeks back, they hopped on to the, to the EH Cert app and the VPass program. They are going to be making a similar announcement this week. Shout out to, v, to uh, Eisenreich. Go ahead and vote for this man for the Community Awards. He's amazing. Um, so uh, this is something we're definitely going to be reporting on. Hopefully they announce it soon. Uh, I'd like to, you know, get on that. But the Arieto Hospital in North Nioska is expected to make a similar announcement. And guys, you know, once this thing proves to be, you know, to work well and to work to integrate with their medical data, guys, other hospitals are going to hop on and things are going to be absolutely insane. Okay, I truly believe that uh, V Chain has pivoted to the correct strategy. <laughs> like, you know, again, I keep saying they could have took their ball and went home, but they continued to work and they pivoted themselves to make themselves useful in a pandemic. And I love it. And finally, guys, it's going to be a very short video today. Not too much going on in the crypto space. Please enjoy your gains. Take profits if you need to, not financial advice. We have Narnia Verde. It is a Colombian privately held company established in 2006. This is producer's market. Narnia Verde is a Colombian company founded in 2006 dedicated to transforming and marketing food, especially dehydrated through hot air process. Due to our quality management system, we are able to guarantee that foods high in nutritional content, 100% natural, safe, and with a longer shelf life with excellent sensory characteristics that preserve the characteristics and qualities of each food. Dehydration is one of the best and oldest techniques used for food preservation. It consists of the extractions of water for food by applying mild heat without the need to add any chemical compound. Dehydrated products are preserved for a longer time. Their transport and storage is easier and cheaper because they take up less space and the weight is lower. So this is a dehydrated food company here. Um, that looks like some dehydrated. I don't, I don't even know what that is. That don't look like grapes. Comment down below if you know what, what kind of fruit that is. <laughs> Looks like they dehydrate raspberries too, which is cool. Dehydrated oranges. Yeah, man. I, I I have to say, I love dehydrated mangoes. They are really, really good. And shout out to Produce's Market. You know, again, telling a story about where we get our food. That's another thing. 
that VeChain is going to excel in. Once, you know, crypto becomes a multi-trillion dollar asset class, guys, people are going to be looking into these companies. More and more, Fortune 500 companies are going to be looking into these companies and seeing, oh, wow, food traceability solutions, vaccine traceability solutions, what else can they track and trace? Clothing, counterfeit products. It's going to be amazing. The sky is the limit for VeChain. Indeed. Indeed. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I know it was a very, very short video. I'm not going to spend too much time on the outro here. So thank you to our Patreon subscribers. AJ, Brett, Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio, Lassie Nielsen, American Home Remedies.com, The Frontline, Jeffrey, Ethan, Maryland, Crypto, Boost, Wayne, Brady Adams, Farouz Den, Joel Jimenez, Kyle Bocci, Crypto, SVET.SI, Eric Parra, and Dig the Voice. Thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support, guys. Tomorrow will be a longer video. Uh, today, I'm kind of busy and, you know, I kind of woke up late and just... A lot of stuff is happening right now. We have 1,215 days to the next Bitcoin block having us. Uh, Bitcoin is almost at $40,000. Absolutely insane, guys. There have been some estimates that saying during this bull run, once mass FOMO kicks in, Bitcoin can literally hit over $250,000. That is absolutely crazy. If Bitcoin hits $250,000 per coin, guys, get your Lambos ready. Like, you know, crypto will not be stopped at that point. Altcoins are going to go absolutely freaking bonkers. And I can't wait for it, guys. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at any major pumps here. Nano is pumping 80%. There's a lot of straight line movements. XRP is doing its pump here craziness yearn finance pumping absolutely crazy guys so um you know if bitcoin continues to rise i, I expect to see altcoins go absolutely insane thank you to everyone who watches my channel every day don't let your memes be dreams and i will talk to you tomorrow